Yeah. Life without you been feeling kind of strange. Well, I see that you're doing very well. Ha, you looking very well. I miss the way your perfume smell. I miss the way that you blow up my line just to make sure that I'm feeling well. Welcome back to my channel. I am Keisha Jabri, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how I did this bun and these baby hairs. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys enjoy it, please do not forget to thumbs up this video and also comment down below and tell me what you guys think. And also tell me what you guys want next. And also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel because my cat baby's lit i'm lit and if you subscribe then you can be lit too and that's a what that's on period so yeah let's just hop right into this video Okay, so I don't know if you guys are able to hear that, but my upstairs neighbor is making a lot of noise right now, but I really want this video to be a talk through, so I'm gonna try to talk over it, and hopefully it's not too distracting for you guys, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that your hair is damp and detangled because it is very important for us natural hair girls if we wanna have a sleek bun that our hair is detangled and wet so that it's easy to mold and you know get into a sleek bun, basically. So, so I just washed and conditioned my hair, but there's nothing in it so the first thing that I'm gonna do is grab some moisturizer so today I'm gonna be using the TGIN rose water smoothing leave-in conditioner as my moisturizer so I'm just gonna go ahead and take down each one and apply this you don't want to apply too much because you know once you put your hair in a bun um, some of the product might try to seep out so just try to put just a little bit not too much y'all know how we go crazy on the leave-in conditioner but just try not to do too much but you do want to make sure that your hair is moisturized so it is very important to have some type of leave-in or cream that you put into your hair to just have it moisturized while it's in the bun. Look at my hair, y'all. Um, this is kind of going to be a hair update as well because as you guys know, I did experience some damage. I'm going to have the video listed right up here for you guys um, so you guys can go watch it. But for the most part, it has grown out a lot and um, I'm just trying to be patient with it, y'all. I'm trying not to get scissor happy and just cut it all off and just give it a chance. But y'all, I'm really getting to that point to where you grow them. I might cut my hair. I'm not gonna lie, I might cut it, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Should I cut my hair, should I just let it grow out? Should I just chill and see what it does? See if it converts or what? Let me know in the comments. I also just dyed my hair. Um, if you guys have not watched my last vlog, I dyed my hair in that vlog. Um, well, I actually got it dyed, I didn't dye it myself. But it is also very important that I keep my hair super moisturized just because of the color. Color hair is more prone to getting dry and just breaking in general. So um, if you have color treated hair, make sure that you're keeping your hair very moisturized so that your hair does not get um, to a point where it just snaps and breaks. So, But I love my color so much. It is so pretty on me, y'all. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm so excited to see it in a bun. This is the first time I'm gonna have my hair in a bun since I've got it colored and I'm just really excited, so. Also, I'm just throwing it back up into a two strand a twist just to keep it detangled because if I leave my hair out, it'll go ahead and tangle right back up. So I'm having to um, twist it back up until I'm ready to basically mold it because I can't just have it all out because it'll become a whole mess, y'all. Like y'all saw in the beginning of the video, it's gonna become just like that. I love this stuff so, so much. It smells so good. I normally get it from Marshalls or Ross because they always have TGIN um, products. But if they don't have it, then you can always check in Target or Ota. I know that they both carry TGIN. And overall, like I just really love their products. I use this on my um, boyfriend's hair, if you guys don't know. He has a lot of hair and his hair loves it as well. So I think that's a good testimonial of just the quality of this product. And I love it and it's not too expensive and it works 
really, really well. So. so this is what your hair should be looking like at this step. So now I'm gonna take the oil of my choice, which is gonna be castor oil, and I'm just gonna put that all over my scalp to also make sure that my scalp is moisturized. Um, it is hot outside, so I don't really have too much of an issue with a dry scalp right now, but I did just have braids and my scalp was exposed. So now I'm gonna just put some oil on my scalp just to make sure that that is completely moisturized and then we'll start on the button. Oh my God, this feels so good. So after that, I am completely done with moisturizing my hair. So now we can move on to the bun. So I'm just gonna start by taking all of these out. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and detangle my hair once again, which it should already be detangled, but this is just how I start to mold my bun, and I just detangle it and brush it back to the way that the bun is going to be, like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, so now I'm gonna take all of my hair like this. I got a lot of hair, y'all. So I'm just gonna secure it at the ends like this, just because that's just gonna help me so much in keeping my hair out of the way and keeping it tamed while I go ahead and mold up this ponytail. So I am gonna be using the Eco Super Olive Oil 10X Moisturizing Gel. This is what it looks like. Um, I got this from my local beauty supply store, but you can use whatever gel that you wanna use. Just make sure it's gonna be able to hold your hair because we need this bun to be sleek, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is just go all over my hair, all over the perimeter with this gel. Now in this step, you can be super generous. You're probably gonna need to be super generous if you have natural hair because our hair do not like to lay down. So use a lot. I'm gonna also put that on the back of my head as well. And I also like to put it like up here because these parts normally fly out for me. Um, so I'm just gonna smooth it all over my hair before I brush it. Just make sure that it's good and just in there. Okay, so now you wanna take your bristle brush and you just wanna brush your hair back into the bun. This is when you can do the little swoops and um, just put up your hair however you want it to be. I kind of like my hair to just be straight back. Maybe a little swoop on the side won't, you know, won't hurt nobody. But for the most part, I just brush it back. So now you wanna take a hair tie and go ahead and secure your bun. And this also makes it so much easier when you have a hair tie on the end of your hair to do this step, especially if you have thick hair. So this is definitely a hack that you wanna try. I'm going to just tie this all around where we just slicked our hair because once we let out this um, ponytail, we don't want it to mess it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it down now. Okay, so now we can go ahead and work on the bun. So I kind of want a small, tight bun. So what I'm gonna do, oop, if I can get this out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and detangle my ponytail once more, which again, should not be too hard since we started off on detangled hair. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and separate it in two parts and start twisting it very tightly, very tight. So now I'm going to go ahead and twist the bun all the way around and I'm going to secure this with another hair tie. And you should have something like this. So 
if you are not a baby hair girl this will be the end of this tutorial and this would be your bun but fortunately I am a baby hair girl so let's go ahead and get started on these baby hairs so what I'm gonna do is just take this small little comb at the end of this um, toothbrush this little edge toothbrush I got this from the beauty supply store and I'm just going to go ahead and just take out all of these hairs that I want to be a part of my baby hairs Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and clean off my the hairs that I want out with a water wipe just to get all of that gel off of them because I am going to apply heat to my hair and I do not want gel to be in my hair when I do that. So I'm just taking a water wipe and just cleaning them off. You can use a towel or whatever. Or you could have pulled them out before you did the bun, but I just would find that so much more complicated <laughs> so I didn't do that but I'm just cleaning them off now what I'm gonna do is just take some mini flat irons and just go all around my edges and curl them like this I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna curl them like that this should look like little grandma curls all around your edges Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some edge control and just put that at the base of the baby hairs, like so. And then I'm going to start to slick them down. Okay, so now you just wanna take some edge control on your little brush, or you can use the comb part whichever one floats your boat but for me I do both and at this point your hair should just go ahead and curl like it should go ahead and swoop because you've already curled it um, now you're just laying it down and it should just swoop Okay, so now this is what your bun should be looking like or something like this. Depending on however you did your baby hairs, girl, but we're gonna take it a little step further and we're gonna do rhinestone baby hairs. Now, I did not create this. I actually have been seeing this on a lot of different girls. I've actually done this for a photo shoot about a couple months ago and I never showed you guys a tutorial on how I did it. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do the rhinestone baby hairs. So. I get my um, rhinestones from Michaels. You can go to Hobby Lobby or wherever you wanna go. But these are called Bead Landing Sticky Gems and there are 150 of them in this pack. And they're all the same size and they're super small and they're super cute, perfect for my baby hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. And you're gonna also need tweezers for this or something that you can grab onto the rhinestones with. So I'm also gonna be using some wig glue. I'm using Ghost Bond. All I did was just put it on the back of something so that I can um, take the end of something. I'm gonna show y'all. But basically I'm just using a wig glue, but you can use whatever glue that you guys wanna use. Um, but this is just glue of my choice. So what I do is I take a little 
anything that has like a smooth surface and you can dot the glue with you want to do that I'm just using the end of a makeup brush so I'm just taking a small little dot and I'm going to dot it exactly where I want the rhinestone like that Um, the good thing about using wig glue is that it doesn't dry fast, so you can take your time with putting on the rhinestones. So what I'm going to do is it comes on a little sheet like this. They're already sticky, but for me, they don't really last the little sticky part on the end. That's why I'm using glue. Um, and I just take it and I sit it exactly where I put the wig glue. And I just press it down with my finger and you can use it into something to make sure that it's on there. And then you're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so what I'm about to do now is go ahead and do my makeup and then I'm gonna come back and finish the rest. <laughs> okay, so now that my makeup is done, we can go ahead and finish these rhinestones. I just got a few more. I'm just gonna go along the swoops of my baby hairs. Whoop. You just fixed my head, shawty. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up so you guys can see the finished product. So this is what it's looking like. It's so pretty. Okay, now I'm just about to finish my eyes because I think I wanna put some around my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come back and see where we're gonna put some more rhinestones. So after further consideration, I have decided to not put any rhinestones in my makeup, but I do feel like the baby hairs are enough in themselves. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you guys end up trying this out. If you do, please do not forget to tag me. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up this video and also comment down below and tell me what you guys think and tell me what you guys wanna see next. And also subscribe to my channel because my cash baby's lit, I'm lit. And if you subscribe, baby girl, you could be lit too, or baby boy, cause I do got a few boy supporters. I ain't leaving y'all out. And that's on what? That's on period. So yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Bye.